Reykjavik, a vibrant city nestled in the south of Iceland, far in the Atlantic Ocean, home to thousands of expats like Stephen Childers. Stephen is a gay man in his 30s. He came to Iceland in 2015 chasing adventure and experience, the same reason so many flock to the land of fire and ice every year. Stephen gained permanent residency, a job, and even began learning the language. All appeared to be going well for him, until one day when he noticed that something drastically changed his life. So this is where it, it first happened. Um, it was a day just like today. It was sort of like the first snowfall, which I was really excited about. And, uh, and I, was, I was just so excited. I, I wanted to take a picture, a selfie, to show my friends on Facebook, you know, to make sure that they knew that I was really enjoying this. And um, so I took a snap. And that's when I knew something was wrong. Stephen made a discovery that shocked him to the core. At first I, um, I thought it was just, you know, a coincidence that maybe, maybe, maybe I accidentally looked into a photo library instead of the picture I just took, but... I was wrong. Stephen had developed headless torso syndrome. So, to put it simply, headless torso syndrome is a condition where the patient appears in photos just as a torso without a shirt on and no head. Because it's still a very new condition, there's not a great deal we know about it at this point. Um, also, there are not any key warning signs to look out for. This condition seems a little bit unusual, but scientists are discovering it's more common than you think. Stephen's case is interesting, but it really is not unique. In the medical community, we've known about this syndrome for quite a long time now. Uh, you just have to go to any dating app and you will see how fast this condition is spreading. There have been theories trying to explain what causes it, but they've been inconclusive so far. Um, I do know about some laboratories in America that are working on experimental treatment. This treatment consists in a filter that will add a head to the headless torso, but I don't think this would help in Stephen's case. Why not? Oh, because the torso in Stephen's pictures clearly does not belong to him. It's ruined everything. It's ruined family pictures. Anytime I'm at a work function and there's a photographer. My dating history. I mean, anytime someone on a dating app asks me for a face pic, I just, I, I can't send one. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, can we stop? It seems all Stephen can do for now is deal with his condition, wait for a cure, and hope his condition doesn't get worse. It has been discovered recently that headless torso syndrome can evolve into something much more traumatic, spontaneous dick pic syndrome. 